today we're gonna talk about collections counter to understand how counter works let's start with a simple example imagine we have a list of items some items are repeated now we are interested in counting the occurrences of each item in a list using a dictionary where the key are the name of the items and the value is the count of each item and in this case it is two how can we create a dictionary like that let's implement a naive approach to this problem first we start with create a dictionary now we're gonna use a for loop to iterate through each character in the list we have above if the character is not in the dictionary we will add the character to the dictionary and use one as an initial count of this character else if the character is already in the dictionary then we're just gonna add one to the existing count of this character cool now let's bring a counter and see how it looks like so now we have a dictionary that shows the occurrences of each character this approach works but it takes quite a bit of code let's see if we can find an easier implementation with collections start with import powder from collections now to get the dictionary of occurrences just you counter and the list that we want to count cool you can see that we get the same dictionary that we got previously in one line of code so counter is much shorter to implement than the approach we used previously now let's compare the performance of these two approaches first let's shorten this code by putting it into a function to measure the difference in execution time of using the custom counter and the counter from collections we use a package time it we create a list of random numbers and we're gonna run each approach 100 time we get the average time of each approach then take the ratio of the average execution time of each approach now let's run this and see what we get cool from the output we can see that using counter of collections is more than two times faster than using the custom counter 